What's up dudes, it's Will I'm back for a little more video nonsense. I have uh, been fighting a horrible cold for the last three weeks and I feel like maybe it's starting to go away but I just haven't felt like doing much work and uh, so uh, I haven't been but I have just been getting bored and had to do something to satisfy my compulsive nature so I've been making some little experiments and something that uh, my buddy Jimmy D said this morning um, made me decide to do another one uh, because uh, my favorite engineering expression has always been uh, something I saw on the desk of an old engineer way back in the day he had this bronze plaque that was engraved with the phrase one good test is worth a thousand expert opinions. <laughs> and I love that. So, whenever I can, I just make a test. And what caused me to want to make this test was that uh, Jim said somebody had told him that they were thinning Model Master Acryl with Mr. Leveling Thinner. Now, this interested me because I've, you know, heard lots of people say that they like to thin Tamiya and Guns paints with either Tamiya Lacquer Thinner or uh, Guns Mr. Leveling Thinner. And that it works really well, provides a really good finish, and, and, and so forth. Um, and so I've been curious to know if it would work with other paints. And one day I put a little bit of Tamiya Lacquer Thinner in some Model Master acrylic, which I use, uh, and it made a goopy mess. Now, I don't really have much reason to thin my Model Master acrylic with something different uh, than the uh, Ultimate Modeling Products airbrush thinner that I use with it, which is basically an alcohol uh, thinner, because it works fine. And I've had such good luck with Model Master acryl, um, even though some people, Jim, swear that Model Master Acryl is junk, I, I've, I've had good luck with it. I've found it to be excellent paint. In fact, when I'm painting small parts, um, I don't even bother thinning it. Uh, I just dump a little bit in the airbrush and, and get it done, and it works great. Um, and if I'm spraying larger areas, I've thinned it as much as 70% with, uh, with the UMP thinner and, and had good luck with it. Seem, you know, works great. Uh, so, I don't have much of a reason to want to thin it with anything different unless, in fact, it provides an even better finish, which, frankly, would be hard to do uh, because the finish I'm getting with it is, is good. So, uh, I don't have a lot of reason to want to do this, but I was curious to see if it would work since my results uh, in putting Tamiya Lacquer Thinner uh, didn't seem to be at all uh, worthwhile. But I had noticed that um, it, it seemed to break down really well when I use a little bit of regular old hardware store lacquer thinner to clean out my airbrush. So anyway, with all that preamble, that's the little test I decided to conduct. Uh, so I've set up a little experiment where I'm going to add uh, a little bit of each of five different thinners that I've got on hand to a little bit of Model Master Acryl and we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully we won't blow ourselves up. Okay, here we go. Here is the setup for my little experiment. I've got here a brand new just opened bottle of Model Master Acryl Zinc Chromate Green. You can see that it's fresh, it's well mixed and stirred, and I've got uh, five different kinds of thinner here. I've got Ultimate Airbrush Thinner, which I've used a lot and works really well with every acrylic paint that I've tried it with, and as far as I know it's just an alcohol uh, thinner, uh, but I don't claim to know exactly what's in it. I've got Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, which as you guys know is a lacquer thinner that's got some type of a retarder in it to uh, make, uh, make things dry a little bit slower. We got Tamiya Lacquer Thinner, which I believe is actually a blend of straight lacquer thinner and alcohol. And part of the reason that I say that is because just from experience, 
I know that it's not as strong as regular straight hardware store lacquer thinner. Uh, and you can see that if you use this to, say, wipe uh, uh, putty off of, uh, off of a joint. This stuff will not craze the plastic, whereas straight lacquer thinner will. Okay, and then right next to it here we've got X20A, which unlike what a lot of people seem to think, is not a uh, not just 91% isopropyl alcohol. It's actually a blend of 54% water, and the rest of it is uh, isopropyl alcohol and butyl alcohol plus some proprietary additives. And then right next to that, we've got straight hardware store lacquer thinner. So what I'm going to do is I've got a half mil of paint in each one of these cups. And what I'm going to do is just take a half mil of each of these thinners and add to it to make uh, a 50-50 ratio because that's what I would normally use. Now, there's almost no reason to do it with the uh, UMP thinner because I already know it works. Uh, and it should. It's basically just your basic, everyday, normal alcohol-based thinner that should work with any acrylic. And as you can see, uh, it, it doesn't do anything weird. Okay, now let's go to the Mr. Leveling Thinner and see what happens there. I got about a half mil of that and just dropping it in there and doing the same thing. Just, I'm just going to shake it first because that's the easiest thing to do and we'll see what happens. And so far, it's not doing anything obviously weird, but I'm not ready to make any conclusions yet either. Okay, Tamiya Lacquer Thinner comes next. Get a half mil of that. And drop that in there, shake it up. And I can already tell that's looking weird. It's turning goopy already. But we'll come back and take a, a closer look at it here in a second after I stir them all up. Okay, now let's take a half mil of X20A. Didn't quite get the full half mil. Let's see what happens with that. It really shouldn't do anything weird, but I've heard people say that X20A does not work well with all acrylics. Okay, last one is just going to be straight, straight old hardware store lacquer thinner which I use to clean my airbrush out uh, quite a bit. So, we'll shake that up and see what happens there. Okay, and you can see it's, it's already doing some, some weird things. You can see that when you shake it there, it, it leaves some clumps and it definitely seems to break the stuff down, but it certainly changes the nature of it uh, and the way that it clings to the to the sides of the cup. Okay, now I'm going to go back to each one of these and stir them up uh, and see if things still look the same. Okay, so there it is, thinned and stirred with the UMP thinner. And there's absolutely nothing weird about that, and there shouldn't be. Okay, now, it's been sitting there for just a minute with the Mr. Leveling thinner in it. And you can see it's definitely not coming off the bottom, and it's... Uh, 
really actually acts like it's thicker than it was to start with as opposed to being thinner and that's definitely not a good thing that sort of defeats the purpose of thinning it so not sure what to think about that it doesn't look like it's screwing it up but it definitely is changing the composition of it okay now for the Tamiya lacquer thinner real similar uh, to what was going on with the Mr. Color but actually even worse I mean it's turned it into goopy paste even even worse yeah that's terrible i mean you can, that definitely is going the wrong direction if you're trying to thin your paint um that is not a method i would recommend all right now let's see what happens with the x20a when we stir that up Still not uh, the same as just the plain old straight UMP thinner. It's it's not doing crazy things like it is with the Mr. Leveling thinner and the Tamiya Lacquer thinner, but it also doesn't seem to be a whole lot thinner than it was to start with. So I'm not going to say that that's a terrible result, but again, it's not what you're trying to do if you're putting a reducer in your paint. All right, now let's look at the straight straight lacquer and that also is looks a lot like uh, the X20A as far as its consistency goes. It's, it, it's breaking it down in a weird way. If you look down there on the bottom of the cup and you watch that you can see how it how it's uh, how it behaves differently it seems to not have any have any more surface tension um, and maybe that's why it works well when when I'm using it to clean out my airbrush because it's just breaking it down so thoroughly but again not thinning it not thinning it at all because when we come back over here to the stuff that's thinned with what we know should work there's a distinct difference in the way that it behaves that's paint that's been reduced that's the so-called skim milk consistency that we all hear so much about so again let's go back and look at what started this whole discussion which was the Mr. Leveling thinner and again you can see that that is not that is not a happy combo let's see what happens just because I'm curious if I add another mill of Mr. Leveling thinner so this will make it, or another half mil rather. So this will make it basically a two to one thinner to paint ratio. Let's see what happens now. Let me get that nice and stirred up. It's, at least now, it's acting more like paint that's been reduced. I mean, it's still not, still not as thin acting as it is with the uh, UMP thinner, but at least it doesn't look completely stupid now. So, hey, maybe the trick is that you've just got to add enough of the stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, since I've got this mixed up and... Um, Got some time on my hands. I think I'm actually going to spray that. And 
let's see what happens. Uh, and that'll really sort of be the uh, conclusion to this little experiment. So there you go. That's my little test. Um, I am a little bit surprised uh, in a way because I actually did get the uh, uh, Model Master Acryl Mr. Leveling Thinner combo to work, but only after I added a bunch more thinner. The 50-50 ratio didn't work at all. The 2 to 1 ratio uh, actually worked pretty good. And I did go ahead, as threatened, and spray some on my little paint mule here. And it sprayed beautifully. Uh, didn't, you know, no dry, no tip dry, nothing. Sprayed it at 18 PSI out of my Iwata HPTH. And as you can see, I sprayed it in a couple of different ways. I sprayed some heavily and thick, and then I sprayed some small to uh, see how that would go, and it it worked just fine. Um, I haven't done anything to see how durable it is. I'm scratching it with my thumbnail right now, and it's only been drying for an hour or two, and I'm not scratching it off with my thumbnail. Uh, and it's on top of some Badger Steinal Res Primer, so there we go. I finally did get it to scratch off, but I had to really dig in. So, uh, look, I. I would say, hey, if if uh, if this is something that you want to do, more power to you. Seems to work just fine. All right, so there we go. One more mad science experiment for 2016. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Much love.